2014 marks the 100th anniversary of the beginning of the conflict initially known in English as the Great War. When it began, everyone expected the war to be over by Christmas. Four years later, everyone said, we should never forget. It left virtually no corner of Europe untouched and drew millions of soldiers from remote corners of the world, such as Australia, India, and the United States. Over nine million died in battle. More had their health ruined by wounds or gas. Many civilians died, and there were millions of refugees. People began to refer to the Great War as the war to end all wars, and the U.S. President Woodrow Wilson championed the idea of a League of Nations to further the cause of peace. Unfortunately, this effort failed, and World War II followed. But from the ashes of that bloodshed evolved global institutions such as United Nations, NATO, and European institutions which have helped to preserve the peace in Europe for almost 70 years. The U.S. marked the end of the conflict by observing a holiday initially called Armistice Day, later Veterans Day, and our British friends have a similar tradition. We remember all who died in the First World War with the poppy that grew in no man's land between the lines of trenches on the Western Front. Today, we ring the bell to honor the memory of all those who lost their lives in the 20th century and pay tribute to the fallen with a moment of silence.